Andre, well played tonight. Uh, a straight set's victory, but it was it was close. It looked like a close match. Yeah, like it was really hard match. Uh, like we're good friends with Mo, so I was uh, I know that it's gonna be a tough match for us because we always play really tough matches, and here the conditions is really hard uh, to play here because of uh, the warm. I don't know how to say like you like you play just five minutes and you like all wet like a. You just take a shower, so I, I was sure that it's gonna be a tough match, and I also like both of us just came from uh, states, states, so it's 12 hours different. So, uh, we ha so like we have to show us best game. So like it was also cl close match, but like I think in some moments I was just a little bit better, and this like uh, I won the match. You mentioned there that you've just come from Miami. Yeah. Obviously, you had a fantastic win there over Pablo Carreno Busta. Yeah. Um, does that give you huge confidence coming to a, an event like this where you're playing fellow juniors and yet, yet you've beat, just beaten a pro? Uh, seriously, yeah, it's given me a lot of confidence. Uh, like, I feel like uh, that I can, like, I don't even know something. Like, I feel like, like for sure in myself, like, uh, so, but still, it's a uh, junior masters like top eight players. So everybody is good players. So I, I have to I have to prepare for every match to show my best game. So and all seals heaven. And just uh, finally, your experience of Chengdu and, and of the ITF Junior Masters. How does it sort of compare to other junior events that you've played? Uh, uh, I think it's hard to. Say because all the other events uh, there is a big draw, you know, and here is just uh, three matches, and all of them like with best junior players. So, like uh, if uh, on the other events like first rounds you can play like uh, not with that good con concentration, so here you have to f play your best from the first match. Okay, and now just a, a quick.